Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today I wanted to talk to you about what types of products are going to start amping up for fall and also getting into Q4. So it is the first week of September right now as I'm filming this video and we are getting into Q4 and if you're unfamiliar with Q4, it is the fourth quarter of the year, meaning the four last months of the year, which in specific with e-commerce are absolutely huge. So people are shopping for season change, the top three or four holidays that are decorated for of the year, fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, and New Year's where parties are thrown as well, lots of people are buying things. And so it is a huge spike in sales in most e-commerce sellers and could get you your first sale if you do not have any yet. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I did just do a how to be ready for Q4 video, so I'll link that below. But today we're talking about products that are going to be doing specifically well in the fall season. I will be sure to make one updated for Christmas because honestly, those should be posted pretty soon. Um, and you want to always be like ahead of the curve with e -com and selling products you can really get ahead and be in the algorithm. But it is not still too late if you want to post different Halloween or fall designs for your store. And it honestly can help you get sales if you don't have any yet and build some shop momentum. So we're going to be going over that and the best products to sell. Overall, I'm going to be talking about Etsy, but in general, this can be for TikTok shop or even on your own website, because ideally, regardless of where you're selling these products, they are being searched for. So let's get right into it. And I am going to be using Everbee as a Chrome extension to do my research today. If you've seen my channel before, that is no surprise to you as they are are my researcher of choice when I am searching for product trends and what is selling. So it will be linked below for if you want to try it out for free. So honestly, in general, when you're doing research, regardless if you are using a Chrome extension or not, by using the platform you're selling on can really give you a good idea for what types of products to create if you're not really sure where to start. So for instance, on Etsy, right on the homepage right now, there's really showing Halloween stuff because Halloween's coming up. So even if I just click that and I go to this page, it's giving me an idea that home decor, costumes, t-shirts, and supplies and printables are something that people are searching for. So it just gives you like a bit of a direction to go in and can give you some inspiration for what products to sell. Right off the bat, one of my favorite products to sell for the Halloween season in specific are tote bags trick-or-treaters, right? It is something that's not as popular as it used to be, but something that people still buy is trick-or-treat bags. And they do really well on Etsy during this time of year. So when I search Halloween tote bag, a ton are going to pop up, right? But this is how you would just do your research if you wanted to create something. And as I always say, don't fix what's not broken. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. With selling products on Etsy, you just have to make a design that relates to what's already selling and make it better or different within your own creativity. So for example, you're seeing a lot of different trick-or-treat bags. This one's kind of like a collage. These ones have names on them, which is something you could do custom. And there's just a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to go over and just use the product analytics tool so I can show you how much these are making and show you that they are being searched for. So personalized Halloween bag, this one has been listed for a while, but they're already doing around $1,400 a month in selling them and they've sold a total of 5,300 of them, meaning people like to buy personalized boo bags or tote bags or trick or treat bags, lots of keywords you can use there for either their children or for gifts in the Halloween season. So something that you could definitely play off on. These are bringing in some okay numbers, but the ones that I'm seeing that are getting the most traction do happen to be personalized. So something to keep in mind there. And if you're wanting a little tip to stand out here, um, because trick or treat bag is a pretty searched for term with a lot of competition, by using this, you can see by typing the word differently. So trick or treat bag is still searched for pretty much the same as the other spellings of it, but it has way less competition. So this is a really great keyword that you could use, hint, hint. Moving right along with the next one that is interesting to me is a digital product actually, not a print on demand product. And that is the digital invitations for fall or Halloween themed parties. So it could be Halloween parties, but what I was seeing a lot of spike in particular was with baby shower invitations. So I'm gonna type um, fall baby shower 
invite. See how it comes right up because that's what people are searching for. So I was honestly surprised at this when I was doing my research. I was like, wow, like these aren't that intricate and they're selling so well. And I do have other videos about creating digital invitations, which I'll leave linked for you. But I just thought it was a really cool and interesting way to add a fall product onto your store and possibly make some money doing so. So let's check out the analytics here. Usually with digital products, depending on what it is, you know, your, your, your revenue and profit are going to be lower just because it's not as intricate as like a physical, like a large product or selling a file. So being able to do $600 a month on a newer listing is really, really great for that. And on the keyword research, right? Like when we are always looking for that higher search volume with the lower competition, one that comes up is rustic baby shower invitation, baby shower fall. So there definitely is some room for new stuff here and to just utilize different ideas. All right, next up is a really cool print on demand product that I honestly didn't know was offered until I started doing research with this. I feel like with Printify, I am always finding a new product that they have to sell. And one of them is doormats, especially for seasons because people do like to change those out for the seasons. So if I type in fall doormat, so many cute ones were coming up. Like I honestly was like, wait, this is so cute. So sup witches, happy fall y'all, really cute ghost ones. Like this one right here is absolutely adorable. And they're doing around 400 a month already with a two month old listing, which is really, really good. They have some great SEO there and their photos great. So check this one out. This is a pretty simple like cowboy ghost and it just says howdy on it for $12.99. They've made $3,000 in revenue selling this product and they have already sold 300 of them. That's insane. So definitely something that I would do a play off of. There are a few other ones, but see how this one's similar but different. Definitely utilizing the trend, but creating something new. So I would definitely consider doing something like that if you want to. And see on Printify, if I type doormat, they actually have them. So this is the only design that I have with a ghost on it, just on this Printify account. But like, look how cute this is. Like, I love that you can do that with print on demand for such a like interesting product. So definitely a cool opportunity. Um, something else that I'm noticing in a lot of these as well that are selling well is that they are personalized again. I know I talk a lot about personalization on Etsy, but that's just because it does really well. And if you're somebody that's concerned about doing that because you don't want to be constantly changing out names and have the hassle of personalization, if you're not aware, there is something called Hello Custom that can automate the personalization product process in selling print-on-demand products. So it's huge. It's a game changer. So if you want to check that out, there is a link below for you and it's a one-time fee for lifetime access. Next are great with every season, but especially with the holidays coming up and in a lot of places around the world is getting colder. So people do tend to buy more of these and that are candles. So if you didn't know, print on demand candles are also a thing that you can sell. You can design the labels on them. And I absolutely love this idea. I think they're so fun to create, especially for like Halloween stuff. Um, I see a lot of them that say like, you are my boo and have the little ghosts on them and pumpkins. And I just think they're so cute and such a fun gift to purchase on Etsy. And as I said, they just do tend to sell really well. This one's a personalized candle doing around $800 a month, according to Everbee. And it also shows us all those keywords they're using as well. So if you did want to create your own, you could grab some of these to get more traction on your listing. I honestly think there's an unlimited type of designs you can do for the holiday seasons. And if, if you don't want to sell for just Halloween, that's fine. Like think of just fall, right? There's so many fun like fall harvesty stuff that you can do that's not related to Halloween that still has pumpkins and pumpkin patches, but it's not necessarily Halloween themed because there is a whole season, you know, dedicated to fall that isn't all about Halloween. And that leads me into the next product, which I love to sell, and that is fall pillows or fall pillowcases. And I love these. If you've watched my socials or my channel, you probably know that I have sold these before. And I just think they're so fun and cute. And I actually prefer to sell the pillowcases from Printify than selling an actual pillow. So Printify does have both that you can sell. But what I find is that the pillowcases are more affordable and they cost less to ship because it's a smaller item. You can fold it up and like a poly mailer versus having to like squish it in a box. You can list both and try it out, but um, pillowcases you can charge less for, which people do tend to purchase. And people 
what a lot of people do that switch their decor out often is they have pillow inserts at home then they just buy the pillowcases to switch their pillow inserts into and out of for different seasons if that makes sense so pillowcases are definitely the way to go if you ask me i will link the exact one that i like from printify below but here's an example of like a fall one it just says farm fresh pumpkins it's in 20 carts you could switch this out for farm fresh apples farm fresh squash whatever you want to put there and just like have a whole line of them to sell in your store and right up here on everby you can see they've sold 300 of them already um, it has a ton of favorites and it's a really great product and this is again a pillow cover as i mentioned so they're charging anywhere from 14 to 19 dollars for it and if that was an actual pillow it'd have to be more um and then you're competing with people selling pillow cases if you were selling like an actual pillow in my opinion unless your pillow is something like this that's like custom plushied like that more people would just prefer to buy the insert from my own experience but you can do your own research with that um that's just what i've found to be true when i sell i'll insert an example of a pillowcase that did really well for me and i absolutely loved it and i started doing it personalized back before it was even we even had the access for personalization automation through hell custom and so like every time i got a sale this was like four years ago i think yeah um every time i got a sale i was like manually going into printify and like changing the name and i remember i had like two typos and i was all stressed out and yeah so it's just funny to like reflect on but things that still do sell really good but i think like fall harvest stuff is just so cute another idea is one that i honestly wasn't going to mention because i personally have not sold these but according to printify statistics and etsy sales statistics these sell really well and again maybe this is just one of those things of it's not something i would buy so i don't like to sell it which is silly because clearly there's money to be made here but that is these fall flag signs are these things that people change out um not to knock it i know people tend to love these but it's definitely a cool product that you can sell on printify and even use some of the same designs that you may create for like a pillow and just change your dimensions and use it on a fall sign i was just surprised by like the search volume for some of these like halloween flags or fall flags but i wanted to put that in here because i don't think a lot of people are selling these like as much as like maybe for the demand that did show there was some competition but i'll let you be the judge of that one you have to let me know if you try to sell that but again not just for halloween for fall as well because fall goes all the way from um september into november so like there's there's a lot of time to get into the fall spirit and if you want to start creating these for different holidays that are coming up as well definitely something to think about and of course who would i be if i don't mention fall mugs now when i say fall mugs they obviously do sell great. Like here's one that I was looking at earlier. Um, this is a newer listing and it's a pretty simple design and they've already sold 16 of them and it has not been on long. Yeah, this person just created this listing a month ago and they've already sold 16 here. So I just think like with fall mugs, there's potential, just recreate designs, you know? Do your keywords really well and try to use the keywords that after doing your research are searched for but have less competition because obviously like things that have been on for a long time things that have that um high search volume but high competition are not the best so really like when you're in your um keyword research tool like ever be like look here for the volume versus the competition right so here's just an example of what i mean is like the, this is for one of the fall mats and you can see the search volume right here on the right side it shows there's 1900 people that search for it but 800 competition try to prioritize keywords in your listings for example like fall doormat that have 200 searches for but 7800 competition versus putting fall decorations right like utilize those keywords that have the lower um, competition higher search volume before you put in the ones that have the higher um, competition that's something that helped me personally I mean when you're selling products that are in demand um, even if the competition there's a lot of it it's still a lot of things go into that we're just looking for less competition if that makes sense I know that sometimes people see that they're overwhelmed and partially that's why niching down is so important because if you were to add like a word in there like book or um dog that can like narrow down the competition in the search so 
which is something to think about. Something important with mugs is that there are so many different types of mugs that you can offer. You don't have to just offer a standard mug like this. Printify now has these cute glass coffee cups you can offer. Um, there's ones with different color handles. There's so many ways to be a little bit more creative with it. First, just literally selling a white mug. Um, see, like they have dark mugs, like dark ceramic mugs, and again, the ones with the colored handles. So there is room to be different, even though you're just selling a mug. And honestly, I could keep going with fall products just because it's a season change. People get excited. Sweatshirts, blankets, like really use you know, your resources to see what's selling just by doing simple searches on Etsy or whatever platform it is that you're on. Even if you're on something like TikTok, do the same exact thing that I just did. Literally search Halloween sweatshirt, see what's selling, screenshot or save ideas for inspiration to create designs for, and then make your own design off of that. Use similar color palettes, mock-ups, all of the same things. I think that a lot of the times with e-commerce, it can feel so overwhelming because there's so many different things to sell. How do I sell? And it's like, just do your research and see what's already working. Don't reinvent the wheel. I know I've said that a few times in this video, but I think that's something that I feel I need to like reiterate more is a lot of people just think like, oh, I need to pick a niche. Oh, I need to do that. And then oh, I have to come up with all these ideas. And like, it's so overwhelming. But if you just take a step back, look at what's working and apply that to your store. It can help you and to even help you test out different things as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. I did use Everbee today to fact check all of the research and it is a great keyword and SEO tool for you to use. I personally love to use it for just doing research on what's selling to see what people are making and what keywords they use. That's my favorite resource on there. But Everbee has a ton of different other things you can use it for. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is linked in the description if you want to check it out and start it for free and give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.